In this video, I'm going to give you a list of 11 books that I think every new homeschooler should read. Hey, my name is Suen and I'm a homeschooling mom of three. I'm here today with my top recommended books for new homeschoolers. As a parent new to homeschooling, it can be pretty daunting to think about everything that you have to do. So it's really nice to have recommendations from someone who's been there and done that. So you're probably wondering, why should I read a book about homeschooling? Won't I learn best just from doing? I mean, yeah, but it'll take a lot of trial and error. And if you want to ease the process where you're gonna actually enjoy what you're doing and your kids will enjoy what you're doing, then you need to do a little bit of research and read. So part of the de-schooling process, which you'll learn more in the next couple of videos that are coming up, that new homeschoolers need to reframe their ideas of what school actually looks like. And what better way to reframe your mind than by learning about brain development, human learning behavior, various homeschooling methods, and more. As we continue to examine education outside of traditional thought, we are able to create realistic expectations within our homes. How Children Learn by John Holt. This classic provides a rich perspective on early learning and captures children's natural curiosity and excitement for exploring. It offers both parents and teachers deep insight into how children learn best and how we can nurture them. I first read this book when I earned my teaching credit and then reread it several years later when I started homeschooling. In my opinion, it's a must read for all educators. Next is a two for one, sort of. I think. It's one author and two books. I only have one here because I have a tendency to hand out books that I've read and loved to my friend. So if you haven't heard of Julie Bogart, she's kind of the celebrity of the homeschooling world. Many folks use her writing curriculum in their homeschool or partake in poetry tea time. They get her weekly newsletters, Tea with Julie. They follow her on Instagram, listen to her popular podcast, full, chock full of advice. So a few years ago, she published a book dispensing advice on homeschooling and it is magical. Magical. The Brave Learner is probably one of my favorite books on this list. And another book Julie just came out with is Raising Critical Thinkers, another highly recommended book. Next is Last Child in the Woods. I don't have to tell you that technology is extremely prevalent in our world today as you're watching this video on YouTube. Now Richard Louvre, or Love, hmm, I'm, have you ever done that where you only know how to pronounce a word or a name because you've read it? I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Richard Liu eloquently argues for the return of natural, unstructured outdoor play to combat ADHD, depression, and other health issues, and to ensure that we have future stewards of our, for our world. Now this book is really eye-opening, and as homeschooling parents, we have the wonderful opportunity of providing more nature time for our kids. Next is Free to Learn, and it kind of piggybacks on what uh, Richard Liu was talking about. In Free to Learn, psychology professor Peter Gray analyzes the role of free play in children's lives. He argues that it's vital for their development, which I cannot disagree. Free play teaches them to be independent, it teaches our children to solve problems, they become more emotionally resilient, they learn how to deal with peers and other people, and so much more. Now, I'm sure you've heard of classical education and Susan Weisbauer. Now, if you are looking for the quintessential step-by-step -step instructional on how to homeschool your kids using the classical method, then the well-trained mind is for you. It teaches you how to provide a rigorous education from preschool all the way up to high school. And it covers each subject that should be learned. And if classical education isn't your thing, I mean, for us, it's a little bit too rigid, you can still learn a lot about rigor in homeschool. Another favorite and from a homeschool celebrity is Call of the Wild and Free. Ainsley Arment is the founder of the Wild and Free community. This book covers various homeschooling methods, offers practical advice, and encourages us to make our homes a warm learning environment that fosters wonder in our children. Note, she does talk a little bit about her faith towards the end of the book, but Wild and Free is an inclusive community. So, and they welcome all homeschoolers, no matter your faith or lack of. Another book that had profound effect on me is Untigering by Iris Chen. She advocates for peaceful parenting and educational freedom, also known as unschooling. I enjoyed reading her basic, sort of like a memoir and sort of about unschooling and untigering. I enjoyed her journey from being an authoritarian parent to a conscious parent, because that's a journey that I am going through as well. And Chen draws from her own experience to help guide readers through their own transformation. And she gives sage insight insights and advice. I also recommend, if you get a chance, to follow her on Instagram and to join her Facebook group. Next, we have minimalist homeschooling. I don't know about you, but when I go online and look up homeschooling, it gets a little overwhelming with all the information 
and curriculum and books and resources that are out there. And with minimalist homeschooling, Dr. Fagan offers advice on tips on creating a simple and intentional homeschool. And if you are a planner, within her book are some worksheets that help you plan out your school year. Also note, the author does share about her faith as well, but she keeps it minimal. Next up is Learning How to Learn, another classic. This book is written for kids and is based on Dr. Oakley's popular Coursera class of the same name. If you don't have time to take her class, which I do highly recommend, then you should read this book with your kids. You and your family will learn about brain development and the tools needed to master new topics and skills successfully. So another one of my favorite books is Grit by Angela Duckworth. She shares her research into grit and how success is not determined by how smart you are, but instead by your level of passion and perseverance. Towards the end of the book, she gives some excellent ideas on how we can foster our kids' passions and teach them to do hard things. And since we're talking about passion and perseverance, the self-driven child examines how our desire to micromanage and pressure our kids to do well often in things they have no interest in, negatively affects their emotional and physical well-being. The book also offers advice based on research and case study of how we can relinquish our grip and allow our kids to have more control over their lives, thus enabling them to be passionate, perseverant, and self-driven. So real quick, if you're finding value in this video, make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. And the last book is sort of a bonus book is Atomic Habits. Good habits are essential for a smooth homeschooling experience. Not only do kids need to develop routines, but homeschooling parents need to carve out regular time for themselves. None of these can happen without developing good habits. Read this book to further learn about habit stacking, improving in 1% increments, and more. I hope this list has been helpful and that you found some new titles to look through. Be sure to hit subscribe and that bell so that you can get notifications for when I upload new videos. See you then.